All right, I'm here with uh, Hayden and Isaac, and um, what did you guys do today? Uh, I came top eight at Australia, New Zealand Oceanics WCQ. I came top seat 16 at Australia. Uh, we played essentially the same main deck yeah. list. Uh, we changed some side deck from yesterday at Nationals. Uh, the main deck's pretty much the same as I played at Nationals. And obviously, you got to play the Commons, uh, yeah. but uh, three Kenya, three Licorice, Lily Bell. I drew that. <laughs> Almost like a million game. times. Yeah. Like, I think three liquors is still correct in this deck. Like it's the trickster sky striker deck again. Um, did you consider playing two Lily Bell? Um, uh, one of my teammates did, and I'm sure the logic was really good actually. Uh, but since I wasn't playing desires, it like, it, it, I don't know. It seems really good instead of the second liquors, but I, th I didn't have enough time to test it and stuff, and I was, just didn't really want to try anything different when I knew the deck was working. Mm -hmm. Uh, stick with the same hand traps, uh, three Ash Free Droll. This just seemed right. Like every time, even against Sky Striker, you can Ash at the right time and just end their turn and win. Uh, that's the monsters. Yeah. Uh, spells, you play uh, three light stage, the only one you play ultra, obviously. Uh, three more light stage, because oh, you just want to see mm. this card. This card, like, you can, like, lock a back row, they'll chain it. Uh, and if you search Kandini, you can go Kandini for another field spell, lock another back row, just get another card. Uh, they just can't win. Mm. <clears throat> you have to be careful about locking the right back row. Yeah, so. yeah, and sometimes in the mirror, you can, like, lock a scapegoat, no escape yeah. goat, and kill it, so they can't do anything. Uh, three goats. Uh, my girlfriend stole my good super, so I have to play the scummy ones. Uh, $350 card that searches another card. Uh, three of the cards you want to search with that card 90% of the time. Uh, three other cards you can search with that card uh, that all come up. Uh, a lot of the time, like mid to late game, I won a game today where I completely lost. He uh, reincarnation my Ash, I was dead, and then I drew engaged, and I got to resolve it twice because I have more targets in my deck, so I get to draw like into four cards and just kill him. Uh, so that's just the striker and the tricks and stuff. Uh, three Shared Riot again, amazing card. If you open it, you normally win. It's literally how I lost in top eight because he had Shared Riot and I didn't want to play into it because I couldn't. Uh, and three Call by the Grave. Uh, this was less good for me today because uh, I missed a lot more mirrors, uh, but I drew it a lot less. And when I did, sometimes it was really awkward. Uh, but I did use it a turn full of chorus so I could search and not get burned and kill him anyway. Uh, and then the three uh, Reincarnation. No other traps are probably needed. Uh, impermanence in the side is probably correct because not much Goki and that, and that sort of stuff was around. Uh, so our extra deck was also the same. Uh, so we played the two Kigari, Shizuku again, uh, the two Link Spiders, Space Insulator instead of Cerberus again, because it, it just comes up. Like uh, Sometimes you need a Link with your uh, Scar Striker cards and then throw tokens so you can keep pushing advantage. And that's the only way you can really go into a... Horror Load Dragon, basically, yeah. Off, uh, when you open Crumb. Hornet plus Candino and stuff like that. And uh, also and topologics. Topologic of the skin. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Holy Angel still comes up. I, I still won a few games of it, so it's still worth playing. I uh, just played Goblin, Phoenix, Unicorn, no Cerberus, because uh, I have ways of clearing like cards, uh, same as Bomber Dragon. Like, you just have other ways of getting rid of cards on the field. Uh, Cerberus is still good for, again, the destruction effect, but it didn't come up today at all. I played like seven mirrors in the whole time. It's crazy how many people playing this deck. Uh, the top logics are really good. This card won me literally four games again today. Not as much early on, but, uh, but when we got late into the tournament in top card, I literally won top 16 because I summoned it in game two and top eight. Um, they just can't out it. When the resources are low, it's really hard to out. And a lot of people don't know the any link zone summon boys the field. So. Uh, Firewolf the FTK, I did this like round 6, 7, and 8 to win my mirrors. Dirty. This should be banned. That's right. Uh, Skull Dread, I actually didn't summon it once today, and neither did Borrow Load, but you need them in there just for the situations where they come up. Uh, now, the side decks were, our decks got a bit different. Uh, so I played a uh, similar side deck to yesterday and changed a few cards. It was still 3 sphere mode just in case it was that Goki um, Suicide Bomber deck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Regeki for the mirror, I dropped Dark Hole. Um, and village and stuff. I still played three twin. Um, I dropped village, ib, and dark hole for the three double duster, and this won me like five games. When you go first in the mirror, and they're like set cards to play around reincarnation, you just hit them with this, like you win straight away. I hit like desires go to like terraforming, engage, or just insane. Like, as soon as you take this and they don't play around it, they lose. Uh, three evenly match, won me games against pure. There's like two or three of them, and when I had it, I just won. Uh, I held it a couple of times against one guy and then waited till he set everything, then just took all these cards away. And then the two impermanents, uh, it's like the last two slots and it's good against Goki, so like, mm. you need to stop their combo. Uh, Isaac, your side deck? So different. like, these are blank sleeves, but I played Dark Hole because you know, Dark Hole is a good out card. But these these three were Mind Crushers and these two were two... The Ghost Bell, wasn't Ghost it? Bells, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ghost Bell was for more like Goki stuff and... Did you burst much of it at the event? No, didn't burst much yeah. of it. Me neither. <laughs> I think they all lost yeah. pretty early. Mind Crush is just because Mind Crush is a very good card. It actually won me a game against... <coughs> although this isn't the deck that you want to play against. Against Burning Abyss because I Mind Crushed the Gamma when they <laughs> damaged. 
That's awesome. And pretty much just killed them from there. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks a lot for listening again, guys. Um, it's a great weekend. Like, coming top four and top eight, I can't complain. And Isaac getting his first top for a long time. So yeah. it was really, really good to see. Uh, a lot of friends out there that did okay as well. Uh, shout out to Team Gillen, of course. Thanks for everything, guys. Pierce. Welcome, New Kane, new member. Liam, Cask, everyone. Brad for not topping this one, but coming third at Nationals is really cool in Swiss. Uh, shout out to Matthew Casario, which I forgot to mention in Nationals yesterday. Uh, he helped me a lot with like some minor choices that we were trying to make in the deck to really like perfect it. And obviously over the two days, or three days, it was really, really consistent and really good. Um, shout out to my girlfriend Chloe again for coming along. Uh, she's always helped me out, she always plays, she's a little savage, but we still love her anyway. Um, shout out to my friend Brandon, it's his birthday today. I'm sorry about the Nintendo Switch, Brandon. I will redeem myself one day. But happy birthday, man. Thanks for coming again. Um, shout out to Lincoln and all the guys from Queensland, and everyone from Card House, mm. yeah. and good games in Brisbane. Any shout outs for you? Um, you mainly your dad. Yeah, yeah, shout out to my dad, and also shout out to Aaron for lending me Internet Impermanence. And also, on the Saturday, I borrowed some other cards. Oh, shout out to Chris Dean and Jack Robisher yeah. for lending me Mind Crushers and Ghost Bells. Shout out to Matt Ron for Dark Horse. With Gold Dark Horse, the Secret Sandwich yeah. Eagle. And yeah. Thanks again, guys. Hey, Team Gun. See you next time. Thanks, guys.